And I'm here today in the Sample Studios in the Old Falls Building to talk to a very talented sculptor and instrument maker, Tal Gallet. Tell me a little bit how you started playing. How I started playing music? Yeah. Oh, I started when I was a young fella. Um, growing up in Canada, my, my parents were big into the, into the cultus. Um, grew up with trad. And, uh, sitting under pipe players, you know. Um, my mum's a, a, a violinist. My dad plays the guitar and the flute. Um, yeah, music was in the house all my life, like, so. And you also are famed for wide in Cork for being a sculptor. And are, do the two marry well? Oh, they do. I mean, again, you know, the, the two went hand in hand. Uh, both my parents are artists as well. So, yeah, my father's a, a stone sculptor, my mother's a painter. Um, so, yeah, it was art and music all the way. Uh, and how did you go down the road into instrument making? Um, that's, that's, that's kind of, um, it can happen by chance really. Um, it was, sculpture was always my thing. Um, but uh, I kind of learned a bit too late that uh, you can't really use your hands as hammers. And uh, I kind of ruined my wrists doing it, so I had to go find uh, some kind of easier kind of work on the hands and I kind of just landed in, in, the, in the instrument making by mistake really. So what would be unique then about your own pieces? I think I approach them from a very kind of sculptural point of view. Um, I kind of, uh, I think it's lo looking at the timbers, uh, looking at the shapes of things. Um, and you're also very kind of tied down by, um, you know, they're, they're, they're very, very strict in the way that you, that you have to build it in order for it to work, which suits me nicely as well, you know. Um, I, I find sculpture, you can often kind of uh, get a bit carried away, it can be a bit, um, there's, I think I like having a, having a base of something to work from, like, you know, uh, something practical. So is Cork a good place to be an instrument maker? Uh, instrument maker, I'm not so sure. Um, certainly the, the approach I'm taking from, from a more kind of sculptural thing, uh, you know, you can't compete with the factories. Um, they, they wind up expensive. It's, it's a fairly limited kind of a, a market for it. It's, it's repairs is what the business is, really. And uh, is that frustrating at times? Would you prefer to be uh, making instruments all the time? Oh, I would, of course, yeah. Um, but you know, you, 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 you. it's 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 a different thing. I've I've always liked tinkering and and you know trying to figure things out as well. Like you know, it can be challenging enough trying to trying to find a problem in a, in an instrument, you know, and and figure a way of, of of making it work, you know. So tell this is what I I knew you for first as a sculpture. This is just amazing. This is yeah. this is fantastic. This piece as well behind you. Um, tell me how, how you got inspired for this one. It's it's just what it looked like. It was um it was a plank. It was a, it was a rough sound plank, and I was looking at it, and it it looked just like a mermaid. So that's what I did with it. So it's it's kind of the way I usually go with my sculptures. You just stare at the piece of wood until you see a picture in it, and you and you go for that, like you know. Uh, do you miss the the sculpture now, or does the instrument making you fill the void? Or? Oh, the instrument making. I think I'm more interested in you know. I mean, I mean for for an artist, I. Uh, I never really had a huge interest in art. Um, I was never one for going to exhibitions and that. Like you know, I I enjoy the work. It's uh, it's yeah. kind of a solitary kind of thing for me. It's I think it's the tedium that I go for. You know, um, I kind of kind of find it's sort of a meditation in it. You know.